Hello and welcome to the book program. <laughs> William Shakespeare, it is generally agreed, has provided the English language with more sayings, proverbs and quotes than any other writer. Every other book title is a quote from the Bard. Many plays in the theatre do the same. Why then should not television follow suit? Here, with a little help from our caption department, is a scene from Edward VI, part one. <laughs> now, dearest cuz, the time draws fast apace. When for my crowning, we must soon prepare. My liege, I have the information close. Then spill it out. Thou art already late. Thou hadst forsworn to bring me news at ten. <laughs> <laughs> but tell me first, how may I seek to rid my royal self of that arch villainess that calls herself the Queen? Queen, so she is. She is your consort, sire, or will be so when you are crowned next week in Westminster. <laughs> Motherland, her beauty is renowned. Her person is respected nationwide. <laughs> her person is the Duke of Hastings, sir. He is her lover and must get the chop. Daily they flaunt their fever in the court. He arrogant and bold and she all smiles, contented with her lot and with her bed, each night with her bride's head revisited. <laughs> the revenge shall be complete. My crowning's perk. My coronation's treat. <laughs> Furnish evidence with all. Observe the Queen's speech when she's with him close. <laughs> As oft beneath the starry sky at night, <laughs> he speaks in tones both moribund and wise. <laughs> and he, during the reign of John, kept silent and endured the tyrannies. <laughs> then mind her. <laughs> that will I, most royal liege. He often plots with Lovell against the crown. These points of view are treason you well know. <laughs> he can it think. But can he ever it show? <laughs> he must be cornered with some trumped-up charge of treasonable acts, both little and large. <laughs> and then he is transported the tower. No blemish shall besmirch my nuptial hour. Come, dancing maidens. <laughs> Trumpets, play away. <laughs> Drums that do beat at night must throb in day. <laughs> oh, as the songs of praise proclaim us wed, 